Tick, tick, ticking away. Hello friends, Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator returns with our Pokemon Fire Red Nuzlocke. We're fighting the second member of the Elite Four. He is Bruno! Through Wicker's training, people in Pokemon can become stronger without living. I've lived and trained with my fighting Pokemon, and that'll never change, Dayton. We'll grind you down with our superior power. Hoo-ha! <laughs> Holy shit, bro. Uh, I don't really fear him. He was really easy when he had his uh, fighting type team. I think he used to be the third member of the Elite Four, and he got uh, deranked. Oh, so he comes out with the Bulbasaur. I'm kind of scared of that because I know it's part poison, but Acorn will be able to fake it out before we switch him out of here. Switch him into safety because I just, I don't really want to fuck with it, if I'm completely honest. I could go into Khan. I know he has some good fire type moves, but I will go into Batman because uh, poison is not something that I really want to deal with at the moment. So he uses growth. Not a problem. Not a problem. Ups that special attack, uh, but I don't think he's going to be able to hit me. Because I'm flying up into the air! Go, Batman! Swoop down upon his head! And definitely on the next turn, I think he's he's gonna get sacked. Hopefully, because he now has double special attack. Yeah. Good. Okay. No problem. Ah, oh, Get me a little worried when those fucking Pokemon start buffing. Um, okay. Celebi is a Psychic and Grass type, so that's not a great match. Uh, we will go into Khan, because he does not have the poison typing that Batman does. Even though Batman could brutalize Celebi probably with Fly. We'll see what Khan can do. I've got great, great faith in him. Alright, so we've got Bite and Fire Blast and Extreme Speed. We'll, we'll start with the Bite. Oh shit. Uses Parish Song. I don't know if Celebi has a trapping move or not. We'll see what Bite does. Mm, it's decent. It's not great, but it's decent. And uh, I'm gonna hit it with Fire Blast on the next turn. I think that should be able to kill, because it's like really high attack power, same type attack bonus, um, but it misses. Oh shit. So Celebi's Parish count fell to two. I'm gonna go ahead and try to fucking Fire Blast again, but I will need to switch Khan out on the next turn, which sucks, because uh, yeah, we missed again. Wonderful! Do not move again! If I kill this Arcanine, I will shit. I will shit everywhere. Alright, we'll go into Acorn. I think Acorn can do some stuff. Perhaps, um, Mega Kicks and whatnot. Uh-oh! He sends out a War Turtle, And I will take the Future Sight attack. Unfortunately, even though it is a Psychic move, it can't hit my Dark type. For some reason. Uh, we'll go for Fake Out on the War Turtle. I know it has a lot of defense, yeah. It's gonna be quite a thing to get through, so we'll use a couple feint attacks, see how that goes. It shouldn't be, like, extremely hard because it's not fully evolved. Yeah, he comes out with the Hydro Pump on Acorn. Acorn's able to take it relatively well. I'm kind of worried, just a little bit, but, uh, we'll keep pushing. I don't... Who else would I switch in here? Dragonite? Dragonite could resist water, too. Maybe we'll switch to Dragonite. <sighs> All right, Albino, get in now. Save our fucking Acorn from a fate worse than death, or just death. That, that's pretty bad too. And we do have Thunder, so let's go for that. It misses, of course. No luck today, just no luck today. Hopefully that's gonna turn around as we get deeper because obviously their levels are going up and mine are not going up as fast, which uh, is unfortunate. So here we go, here's the thunder. Boosh! Destroy him! And that should be, that should be more than enough to fucking take that thing out. It doesn't have much special defense, and uh, it's weak on top of that. Weak to thunder. Too bad for you! He's got a shell gone, which I think might have a dragon type attack. I do have a dragon type attack of my own, but I don't want to, I don't want to do that really. No, not, not particularly. So we'll go into uh, the good old Batman. He's like my ultimate sidekick. I love him so much. And here comes the shell gone. I'm not too scared of what it's going to be able to do unless it has thunder or some fucking confusing thing like that. We'll start it out with the confused ray because we've learned much from Koga in our travels. <laughs> uh, and 
Let's see. Let's see if he can hit me. Can you hit me? Can you do anything? No, you can't. You can't, can you? All right, so that's uh, a good start. I'm debating hitting Fly, but I'm gonna try Poison Fang just to see what it does. Hopefully we can get some status on this thing. Oh, there it goes, badly poisoned. So now Sheldon has the toxic poison on him, which is awesome. And he hits himself again, wow. That, that thing's going fucking down. Batman is so nasty, dude. Wow. So now I will hit the fly because he's taking toxic damage and just ticking away and hitting himself in the face. So this should be able to kill him um, after the next little bit of damage that he takes. And he does hit himself in the face third time in a row. Jesus Christ, just no luck for this guy today. And there's a little more poison. Tick, tick, ticking away. Dango. Oh, he's got the full restore. Damn it. How could you do this? He waited so long, too. All right. Well, if you want it, if you want it, if you want to come and fucking get it, kid. It's the end, son. The end. All right. We're going to do it. We're going to do it right now. Oh. That fly didn't do quite as much as I had hoped, so we're going to go for Poison Fang again. Um, we do not get the poison on him, unfortunately. I think he does have another fucking full restore, and he's slowing me down with Scary Face, which I don't like at all. So, we'll hit that Poison Fang. Come on. Get that fucking status on him. A little bit of status. Nope. Nothing. Nothing. And now we have our speed dropped again, so we should be moving slower, I think, than the shell gone. Yeah. We are now officially slower than... This, this slow ass piece of crap. All right, so he dragon breaths me. I'm gonna fly up in the air. There's no full restore on the horizon for him, so that's it. I'm gonna bag that shell gone up. He did. He did give me fucking quite a struggle. I'll admit that. Uh, and here comes the Celebi again. I am gonna keep Batman in here because the Poison Fang should be able to to wreck this thing pretty hard. Future Sight, I don't know if it's going to be super effective on Batman or not, uh, but we should be able to knock this thing out before it even becomes an issue. So, that's pretty good damage. Might, maybe one more, maybe two more. Uh, but we need to get out of here before the Future Sight, because I don't want to find out if it's super effective or not. Uh, Alright, so yeah. Sack that Celebi with the Poison Fang. His team is going down, getting whittled away. He's got a Shuppet. I will uh, switch into, I want to say Acorn, but it'll it'll be Quackers because uh, he can't hit us with the same type attack bonus attack. I think I used a Master Ball on fucking Quackers. Is that crazy? Did I really do that? <laughs> Whatever. Um, okay, so we'll, we'll try out the Shockwave. He goes for Snatch, which isn't gonna work because Shockwave is not a move that makes contact. That is a level 56 Shuppet. Holy shit. We're probably gonna see, like, level 60 Pokemon. We gotta be really smart about this shit. And it's a really good thing that I did this Nuzlocke on Switch mode instead of Set mode. Because, um... Yeah, the, the announcing of your opponent's Pokemon, what they're gonna use next, is really important. Obviously gives you, uh... The advantage that you need. If I had done this on Set mode, I don't think I would have gotten anywhere near as far as we have... Uh, though I'm still a little skeptical about how early I've headed into the Elite Four here. It might have been like a massive mistake, but we'll find out, I guess. I don't know. So he uses Full Restore on that fucking Shuppet. We just keep Shockwaving, Shockwaving, Shockwaving. It's a three hit KO, which isn't too bad. Um, if I had same type attack bonus, it could be better. Oh shit. And he's using Grudge, which uh, if I kill him with Shockwave, is going to take all of my. PP for Shockwave. So I'm not gonna do that. I'm gonna go for Solar Beam. Hopefully he'll do something else this turn. Not Grudge. And then I won't use Sol- Oh. Uh, well, I'm gonna lose all my Solar Beam PP. I think we might have an Ether in the bag or something like that. But uh, it doesn't really matter. Not truly. Like, it takes two, two turns to set up. How often do I use it? Meh. Lost all its PP due to the Grudge. What a fucking weird move. <laughs> Alright, if you insist. Thanks, Bruno, for all this money! I'm so rich! Money! My job's done. Go face your next challenge. We are gonna do it. First, I'm gonna heal up. Make sure uh, nobody gets dead in the next room. Even if they're not, like, uh, at extremely low health. I have so many fucking full restores. 
I did not use as many items as I could have, basically because I had unlimited use of the Pokemon Centers for this run through. Um, probably if I do another thing, not only will it be like more highly super edited, but um, I'll also apply more ru rules to myself to get brutalized further. <laughs> oh man, here we go. Okay. Agatha. All right, friends. Fuck it. <laughs> I am Agatha of the Elite Four. I hear Oak's taken a lot of interest in you, child. That old Duff was once tough and handsome, but that was decades ago. He's a shadow of his former self. Now he just wants to fiddle with his Pokedex. He's wrong. Pokemon are for battling. Dayton, I'll show you how a real trainer battles. Oh, fuck. Ah, not an old lady. I don't want to fight another old lady today. <laughs> They're fighting old ladies all day. Ah, oh, a hound door. That's uh, not a good matchup for Acorn. Luckily, I always got that fake out. We only have four of them left now, so I need to make them count because we've got two opponents left, and it will probably be a pretty important thing. And let's go to use Acid. He's got that uh, rock and ground type coverage, which really is just so tasty. And then you throw the grass in there, and it's like, oh, what else could you want? Flamethrower will hit me neutrally, but it shouldn't do too horrible thing. Okay. It's it's pretty bad. It's still pretty bad, but um, if we earthquake the shit out of this thing, it should it should be fine. We'll be okay. He goes for the crunch now. Ooh, it is hurting because they are higher levels than us now. 54, probably her lowest level Pokemon. So use ass. It's hurting. I'm gonna have to pull him out it out there unless uh, something really really weak is coming. He's got a Caesar, yeah, I'm really scared of Bullet Punch. We'll go into Arcanine. I'm pretty sure we can take that thing out with just one Fire Blast, as long as it hits. Holy shit, Fire Miss every single time. Ooh, there's the big bad boy. Level 56, my god. And Fire Blast, we are faster. Yeah, bag that thing up. Bagged up. Nice. That worried me, but uh, that was probably one of the easiest KOs that we've had in the Elite Four. Good job, Khan! Khan! And Nidoran Male is coming up next. I do not have any psychic types left. Poor, poor Tranny. R.I.P. Alright, so we got Batman. He will not get poisoned by the Nidoran. And I think that Nidoran might have double kick or some crazy crap like that. So let's let's try and bite it. We'll see how that goes. It's not bad. He does flinch, so we'll do it again. Yeah. That's probably more than Fly would do in two turns, so uh, go ahead and bite it again. And we'll also save some Fly PP in case somebody has, like, roll out or some crazy shit like that. We can avoid it and break the chain. Oh, he's got a Voltorb. That's not good for Batman. Um, we will go into Acorn. I'm not going to go for the Fake Out because I do want to save the PP. Um, so probably, like, Mega Kick. Mega Kick. That thing's so, like, soccer ball shaped. Football shaped, if you will. <laughs> he uses light screen, but that's not gonna do much. Mega kick! Should have reflected. Oh, that thing's level 58. Holy shit. Yeah, that's not gonna KO it. So let's let's try some cuts and see how that does. His swift isn't able to do much to me, which is fortunate. Ah shit, here comes the full restore. Damn, damn, damn! That's just fine. We'll get a cut going right now. And then uh I'll try this mega kick out one more again. Hopefully that's gonna be enough. If not, then it's gonna leave him with just a sliver, which uh, will lure lure into using the last full restore. Yeah. Two full restores, my god, you guys. <laughs> Give me a break. I don't use any items during battle. I'm like all offense, trying to do this thing. I'm not gonna go for mega kick either because we're running low on that PP as well. And I'm not, like, super scared of Voltorb, unless he uses Explode or some shit like that. Oh, fuck! No! <laughs> Damn it. Live. Please live. Ah! Team OG bites the dust, man. Fuck, fuck, fuck! Alright, so we're one, one Pokemon down. Uh, we got five Pokemon to make it through. I think it'll be enough. Alright. He's got a Sunflora as his final Pokemon, or her final Pokemon, which, you know, not too bad. Should be able to double, 
two hit KO with try attack I think maybe even one um, because it lacks a little defense oh that's right but it is higher level and I traced its poor fill ability I can't solar beam um, because I don't have any PP left on that which is unfortunate but uh, we'll keep up the try attacks this thing's not gonna move faster than me I traced his ability I know all his tricks Ooh, critical hit. Thank goodness, Quackers. Oh, man. So we did lose our lovely little acorn. Fuck. Oh, my. You're something special, child. Yeah, I guess you are, too. KO and my fucking Pokemon. You win. I see what the old Duff's seizing you now. I have nothing else to say. Run along now, child. Thanks, old lady. <laughs> oh, man. So acorn bit the dust. Ah. <sighs> Who's our, who's our OG now? Is it really Cradley? God damn, it, it's, it's been so unfortunate, this, this game. But we'll continue on in the next episode, friends. Lance and uh, Sun await us, so I hope you'll join me for that. I've been Brandon Dayton, your humble narrator. If you did enjoy the episode, please remember to like, comment, and or subscribe. And until the next time, friends, bye bye One, two, three, four. Goodbye, goodbye, see you again Goodbye, goodbye, see you, my friend